time I started with a big smile and not a stunned look. Hi, I'm Jeanette. I am the owner um, and master storyteller and also inquisitive, curious person. So today I am excited to welcome another W5 story session to um, my, my page. So let's get into it and let's, it all goes by the W5s, the who, the what, the where, the when, and the why. So first of all, who are you? Hi, uh, my name is Ravid Lonstein, and uh, yeah, I'm in Los Angeles, California. And uh, my company name is Revolution Financial Management, and uh, my own branding is RL Financial Guru. Um, yeah, and I just um, thank you so much for having me. You're so, amazing as usual. So, yeah. um, so what are some of your who hats? So when I say who hats, like mom, reader, like what are some of the who hats that uh, that you wear in life? Uh, definitely mom. I'm a mom of four uh, teenagers. So a lot of fun in my household. Never a dull moment. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I'm trying to, I, I do read a lot. Um, I read more like entrepreneurial books, kind of, that kind of stuff, you know, um, you know, better mindset, just to kind of make myself the better, the better version of myself. That's the whole goal. You know, uh, I learned a lot of different things. Um, but yeah, mainly I, uh, I enjoy just working and helping people. Um, I don't really have much hobbies. I love to walk, uh, you know, when it's, when it's sunny outside right now, it's rainy, but, uh, <laughs> we, yeah. we have your sunshine here in, uh, in Langley, BC, where I'm located just outside about 50 kilometers South of Vancouver. So we stole your California sunshine and you have our rain today. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I was like, Oh yeah, it's a bit gloomy, but we'll enjoy it for me. <laughs> Absolutely. So as a mom, let's unpack. I love to unpack some of the who hat. So as a mom, what is, what is something you like to do with your, with your teenagers and as a financial person what do you like to do under that who hat or you know as a mom I like to spend Sundays with them because they're all busy during the week and then they are studying right now on zoom so um yeah we just like to pick something to do and then spend a Sunday with them you know whether it's just kind of running around um doing errands or it doesn't matter but as long as I get them for you know, for part of the day. And then, right. you know, I try to also see them, obviously, you know, Friday, Saturday night, and Sunday night, we sometimes do a family movie. It depends what we end up doing. I can't wait till theater is open in Los Angeles mm. because it'll be nice to go to a theater. You know, it's been a while. Yes. Yeah. Um, in terms of the, fi the my financial um, hat, um, you know, for me, my biggest fun is helping people. Um, changing people's lives, making them better somehow. Um, I love events. We do a lot of events. I love to talk to new people. I love to build relationships. Um, I don't know. I'm a people person. So I just love talking to people. It actually makes my day, you know? Yeah. Awesome. So let's unpack. Well, you said you're in California. So where in California and where do you do your financial planning? Like where can you touch people's lives in this I like to say this big blue marble. Oh, that's cute. Um, yeah, I'm in Los Angeles, California. Um, and I basically can help people anywhere all over the 50 states in Canada, you know. Um, yeah, we're trying to now kind of get into other countries, but that's usually just takes a little bit more um, time to get through. But yeah, but anywhere, luckily, you know, with the Zoom age, we're Zooming and booming. We literally are talking to people. Ooh, I like that. that. I know. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Zooming and booming. I love it. Um, since the whole, uh, you know, pandemic started and this whole thing, it really made a shift. And, and you know what, in a way it was a blessing in the skies. I'm not saying it was a good thing at all, but, but it kind of made us like touch more lives and talk to more people and get on zoom. And I wouldn't have met you, you know, I just, um, so we're really lucky that we got a chance to do that and to impact more lives. So. So I almost want to go a little poetic. We're zooming and booming in the rooms, in, in Zoom rooms, <laughs> but something. That's fun. right. That's right. <laughs> so when did you decide that? Um, uh, I can't say when did you decide you wanted to be a mom because that happens naturally uh, a lot of times <laughs> within a family dynamic when you got hubbies and wives and stuff. So when did you decide that you wanted to be like the financial guru? 
Well, you know, it's funny with mom, like being a mom, actually everything was planned with me. I grew up in, uh, you know, my dad's side of the family has like a, you know, a lot of, like he had like 11 brothers and sisters, including oh himself. Yes. So um, I would actually go to a friend of mine, um, actually my aunt's house and she had four. And then it's funny, in my mind, it was kind of like, I want to have four. And it turns out it was, you know, at the time, I didn't think it was like two boys and two girls, but that's exactly what I had. So oh, wow. um, I talk about like vision, right? Like you see the vision, this is what you want. Um, I, you know, with the financial part, it was, it was kind of a funny story because I was a realtor for many years. I was basically working around the clock and like 24 seven, I was mm. so wiped out and through the 2008, you know, ups, your market crash and the whole thing. And it was, uh, I was really struggling. And, um, I just said to myself, wow, you know, I'm, I'm working so hard and, and it's, you know, I'm looking for some, something I, I you know, either I'm going to become the broker of the real estate or something because I, mm. you know, I wanted to get residual income and what happens if for whatever reason I can't work, let's say, you know, at that time I was like having my kids and still, I was even literally showing out up to like the last minute being pregnant and having to bend down. And I was thinking to myself, you know, there has to be a better way. There has to be, yeah, you can make your schedule, but also why don't I also, you know, get some other income, like residual income from doing that and also ah. have other people, you know, help me out when I specifically maybe can't do it. You know what I'm saying? For And, and in that way also reach more people because there's only so many houses you could show in your area. But right. when you start showing houses, you actually start talking to people all over the world you know, it does change that whole dynamic. And then other people get help and we're literally, and then it's kind of like, it's like the waves coming in and, and like really reaching um, much wider. So it kind of fell into my lap. It, it was funny. I was invited by um, a really good friend of my husband who he grew up with into, uh, they invited me to, they had their grand opening. And then I just saw that and I was like, wow, I don't have to work. I'm not saying I'm not working hard, but I don't have yeah. to work like 24 seven. Um, you know, and you basically and we're in the financial field, which is very lucrative, which I love. But also the more people you help, the more you get paid. It's kind of like, you know, so for me, it was all about helping people. I was like, well, the money's going to come anyway. But um, but I just love the fact that we can impact and really help more people. And if you do love real estate and you want to be an investor, great. You could just do it at your own span of time with your own money. You don't have to rely on people. You don't have to. You know what I mean? Uh, have yeah. to deal with sit. I was sitting in open houses on Mother's Day because they told me that I was going to get clients. At the end, I didn't get clients, but I basically felt like, you know, I have to have my family, my fit. So here with us, it's like faith, family, and then business. And yeah. I've had to sacrifice so much and didn't really get any much, you know, in return. Where, yeah. yeah. Uh, so that kind of wraps it up a bit, but what is your why in life? What is your why in life? My why, you yeah, have so many different levels of whys. I mean, you know, I, you know, I, the thing is, is my family, when they, when my, my grandparents came from Bulgaria to Israel, right? They basically dodged the Holocaust. They were like literally one of the last boats out coming out. And um, they've basically created a better life. They started out in one house with all their family. They've worked up the chain to get to where they came they give my whole family a better life right and and i feel like i owe them that and i want to retire my family i want a better life and i also want to really i had a friend that um passed away um by mistake actually um she was she's in india she was in india and she was um she was you know trying to get off antidepressants and i don't know somehow took her high, hyper, uh, her blood pressure pill or something and, and passed away really young, right? So my whole, my whole whys are to create a center there to help people, um, you know, and literally put it on her name because she was the most kind person, really amazing and loves to help people. And her life was cut short too, too small. So I really want to help as many people as I can I want to um, get kids out of slavery. I want, but in order to do that, you have to be, you know, talking about in millions, you know, to be able to yeah. really create an impact around this world. So that's, that's really what my whys are. Yeah. I, I love that. If, if I could sum it up in kind of one sentence, you're about quality and the quantity will come. 
I, if I if I kind of take your W5 story to how I'm receiving it is you learned that you were quantity and you didn't feel a quality life. And now that you've got a, uh, a quality life, your impact is that much greater. And I think that's a that's a beautiful story to to share with the world. So thank you so much, Ravid, for for sharing a small portion of your W5 story. We will make sure that Ravid's um, either Facebook page or, or website is down into the comments after this is uh, uploaded. Guys, it's, it is, if you wanna get to know the people in your world, a simple, quick conversation, very powerful. Who are you? What do you do? Where do you do it? When did you decide and why? And that's the foundation of all relationships. So um, I, I reach out, reach out to Ravid afterwards. There's little nuggets in there of a lot of commonality that I'm sure um, finances will be talked about, but there's a lot of little things in there that I even want to know um, a lot more about. So thank you so much, Ravid, and um, enjoy your day. And we will thank talk you. to you again next Monday for another edition of the W5 Stories. Where in the world will I go next? Talk to you later. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye.